Um, hello, this is the tutorial for a label brick and I'm also going to do the print brick I think while I'm here. So this is a page I just made using the um, highlight box brick and I'm going to edit this page and click onto the structure tab because these are the ones that we're dealing with at the moment. Um, so first of all I'm just going to bring in the print button. So say you wanted someone to print this, you could drag it into the blank space here or indeed just above the embedded scroll frame and if you double click the print button all it has is alignment and I'm going to align it to the right um, and you can use this different image should you want to have a printer and you see that presents there so if you preview that and you just have this printer click and that's just printed it onto a separate page for printing so whatever element no matter where this element is if you see what I mean if it's just small on your web page it will um, click into a big page to print out and then we have the label brick. So I'm going to bring or the label panel they're calling it. So um, let's see what's customizable here. So if I just double click this middle bit, this, that's an empty editable space, so there's nothing you can do with that. So you have to click on the edge of it. You see how that wider red um, rectangle appears? So you double click the edge. And I believe you can edit the text, not make it larger, and change the border color. by clicking on this. So if I just go and make this red or whatever, click on OK, click on OK. And the way this kind of thing works is just giving a structure to your page. So I could just go and move this entire element inside that. You can see you've got that little text at the top just gives an inform and um, informs any user what it is that they're doing. These don't all have to be really, really big. So you can just, um, when you're um, so for example if I just drag five columns in there and then I take this whole label brick that we just made and stick it in the middle one you can see it changes the shape of everything. Let's preview that um, and then the PDF document appears like that so you can see how these things could be used creatively to make um, sort of interesting web page designs and that's really what Frog's all about is bringing in the different elements um, um, into um, what it is. So once you're finished publish and exit and you're done.